Next, we're going to show how easy it is to connect it to vMix. And then we're going to show how easy it is to connect it to Zoom. So let's show how easy it is to connect a PTZ Optics Move X SE to vMix. So I've got vMix here, totally blank vMix. And I'm going to click Add Input. And again, I'm going to select NDI here as it's just a very easy way to connect to uh, the Move SE. It will automatically show all of the NDI video uh, sources on my network. And again, I'm going to choose that same one here. Actually, I could choose any of these, to be honest. Um, maybe I'll choose a different one. Maybe I'll choose... Not one of Michael's. Yeah, he might not like that. Let me just choose the one on my desk. Okay. Boom. So this is the NDI camera. Oh, got to zoom it out here. Okay. That's the NDI camera on my desk. And if you double click that camera in uh, vMix, by the way, I like this, this sharpen option in vMix. If you guys have never used it, it's pretty good. Mm. Um, in the PTZ tab, you can use the drop down for PTZ Optics Visca Control. And now we can start zooming the camera with vMix. Now what I'll do just to show how this works is Tess will give you a preset. So we'll create a preset at this position. And then Lindsay will give you a preset. And you see I'm clicking this create input at this position. By the way, I like to do just a little bit of black stretch on my video. Look at that. Oh. Boom. Um, now when I click these inputs, they go directly to the place that we stored that PTZ preset. So just to give you an idea of how it works, this is how you can add a Move SE camera. Now, um, to get PTZ control in vMix, you do need to think about having the vMix 4K option or greater. The standard editions of vMix do not include PTZ control. So I know a lot of customers who don't get PTZ control with vMix and so what they do is they will use the PTZ Optics app for example mm. uh, because it costs an extra $350 maybe or more to right. get the vMix control. Now two other things I'll show quickly in this uh, area mm. is you can set up speeds for your position. So the first speed is for pan tilt manual pan tilt and zoom and vMix has a great way of actually mapping the pan tilt zoom controls to like an Xbox controller or an X keys device. So they have a lot of different options for that. You have the ability to zoom in really slow or really fast or really fast. You have the ability to change the focus. So we could do a focus pull and change the focus here. When we unclick that autofocus will be enabled. And the other thing we have here is something that I want to show is we can turn the position speed down to zero. And what that will do is it will have really slow movements in between the PTZ positions there. Um, John brought up a really good point that you are showing how to connect using NDI. Could you show how to connect, um, I guess, without NDI? Yeah. Yeah. That's our next thing. Oh, okay. So I think we've pretty much covered this uh, this vMix area of the PTZ control, the options. I will also say that there's a tally button here that will not do anything for the Move SE because it doesn't have a tally, but the Move 4K does, and that that's what that button does.